In this video, we will be seeing some intricacies with appending slices in Go, and I'll also show you how to properly append to a new slice when you are working with uh, different slices in Golang. So um, I have a small program written over here. Um, the program is simple. Um, basically, what we have done is we created a slice and printed it. Um, then what we did is we created a new slice out of the original slice we created another new slice and we appended new slice 2 to new slice 1 here here and then we did the same step again and in in between we have printed uh, like we have printed the uh, content of the slice a uh, bunch of times so so let's go over the code and see, uh, let's try to figure out what would be the expected output before we run it. So so uh, we have a slice over here and, and I print it, like if I print it, the expected output should be something like this, right? Uh, let's ignore ignore the uh, the string uh, formatting over here. I just, um, we are just concerned about these things. So the expected output would be 0, 1, 2, 3, right? This is the slice and the array of the slice. Now, when I create a new slice, uh, I say, okay, for this new slice, we only want the items from beginning of the slice to 1, but not including 1, which is 0. So we should be seeing something like this, right? And then we again create a second slice and here we say we want all the items from second till the end of the slice where which is two and three and we should be seeing something like this um, okay everything looks fine till now right and and now what we do is in new slice one we append the output of new slice two so what we are doing is in this slice we append this so expected output should look look something like zero two three right yeah and and we print the original slice since we have not done any operations on the original slice uh, it should look it should be the same zero one two three we again do the same operations on on by appending new slice now the value new value of new slice one is zero two three right now we again append slice two new slice two to this so expected output should so look something like zero two three two three and we again try to print print the original slice which is zero one two three uh, so this is the order of output that we should be seeing uh, let's try to run the program and see if our expectation matches the output in the terminal okay immediately uh, we can see uh, the first output is what we expected 0 1 2 3 let me put it here 0 1 2 3 second is 0 which is same third is 2 and 3 which is also same and fourth is 0 2 3 0 2 3 okay well, we, we are good till now and we again print the original slice here we expect 0 1 2 3 but look at here we have a different output 0 2 3 3 which is weird right which is weird because we haven't done any operations on on 0 2 3 sorry operation on original slice which is this slice let's go further uh, now again the output we should be seeing is 0 2 3 2 3 but we again see different output 0 2 3 3 3 3 okay and we print the original out slice again it is 0 2 3 and 3 3 now we can see our expected output is w the terminal from the output is way off our expected output so what actually happened here we wrote the program correctly right the logically we are correct but but something something is messing up our slices so turns out slices in go are not same as slices in other programming language like python assigning a slice to 
another makes another slice makes a shallow copy of the slice and and we should be really careful when when we are dealing with multiple slices and appending or, or re-slicing or appending values to another slice uh, so wh wh why is why why is this the case uh, let me like why, why did this happen let me try to explain it through the diagram uh, okay so as you can see here as you can see here we uh I'll, I'll for now uh, let's not let's not get worried about this okay so oh let's remove this So let's look at our code and see. So when we declare a slice, what actually happens is it does not actually stores any 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 values. So it is not when you create a slice, it's not actually storing any data, but instead it is a descriptor of the underlying array. And like we could uh, like this slice that we created we could also call it slice header or slice variable so basically slice variable is a data structure that contains contains the uh, contains like different attributes which describes the continuous section of the underlying array um, some of them like i like the here like it, it it could be represented like this so a slice slice would contain a length uh, a total capacity of the slice and and the pointer pointing to the starting value of the underlying array so when we created a slice like this uh, 0 1 2 3 what actually happened is it created a slice variable which has the length uh, so which has the length of 4 and capacity of 4 because by default um, it automatically assigns the length and capacity based on the items so and the array it points to a part in a memory location like any it could be anything and and the value are added there so basically this slice doesn't hold any actual values but rather holds a reference to the actual memory location where where the values are stored so okay we are good we created a slice it point like we it it points to the underlying array now what we have what happened is we when we create a new slice what we do is uh, we, we said okay are we only uh, I only want the first first element of the array to one in this slice so what this does this section does is it creates a new slice similar to this uh, creates a new slice variable now since we have only one element uh, the length would be one capacity is still four capacity is still four and the array points to the zeroth element because we started from zero uh, the first element is is zero so it points here sorry it points to the first element of the underlying array let me make it much easier okay uh, yeah. Uh, so this is this is our underlying array. Okay, everything is good till now, right? Now we create another slice, right? With the same same principle. Uh, what we do is we okay, I already created it here. So we created another slice now the slice has length of two because we wanted eight elements from second to the end which is two elements and capacity of the new slice now would be two so it's it's so why it's two and here it's four um, i would recommend going through the documentation and and reading it a bit more but in short what happens is when you slice uh, create a new slice starting from the beginning 
to till some element then the capacity remains the same but when you try to re-slice or create a slice from from between some some element in the underlying array and till the end or till between then the capacity capacity changes now when we created a new slice same thing happens uh, this underlying array points to since we start from 2 to 3 uh, it points to second here oh sorry okay let me send it in the back so it points to second element in the underlying array till the third so it disc like this so like points to the starting point of the continuous section for for new slice 2 of length 2 which is 2 and 3 okay now everything is good our slide we have our slice header created and and now when we try to append new slice one to sorry two to new slice one so when this was created uh, it had only zero value like it, it was pointing to only one element which is zero and this one new slice two was pointing to two comma three right and original sl original slice was pointing to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 which is which is the under like all the element of the underlying array before the append now what when we append a new wh when we try to append new slice 2 to new 0 what actually happens is ju just to revise so I said it before as well slice do not hold the value it 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 provides a reference to an underlying array so right now all of these slice variable are are pointing or, or referencing to the same underlying array so any changes in any of these uh, array would would uh, sorry any and uh, in this slice would would under ultimately affect the underlying array so what actually happens is when we append zero this two three to new slice one the the new slice one value would be zero comma two comma three it will be changed to zero two three now which is which is what we expected like when we did the append and tried to print it uh, we got zero two three the length is changed because we have three element the length is three and capacity is as I said if you are changing from the capacity is four so if you see the value is zero two three and it, it, it matches our expectation when we appended it now what actually happens when you append it like this when you append like this now since as we discussed before as well when the slice changes and it is referencing to the original underlying array any change in this slice will affect the original underlying array as well so it was pointing to zero now we had added two more variables so two more values two and three appended it on top of it so what actually happens is after the append operation the length of the array becomes three and capacity is four and this it overrides the underlying array to be zero to three starting point of the array and three length continuous section so it becomes zero to three now for this array if we print it we should be seeing 023 which is 023 all good but what actually happened over here is for this slice and this slice the value of their underlying array has been changed how it changed uh, let me explain so for this slice it points to the starting point of the continuous section like section in the memory so for this slice when it again reads the value of the underlying array instead of 0 1 2 3 which was previous now it finds the 
value to be 0, 2, 3, 3 because it pointed to the starting point and and the length is 3 capacity f is sorry 4 4 and it tries to go through the four like continuous four sections which is 0 2 3 3 now it has the underlying array for slice has changed this is the reason why why we were why we saw the value of slice to be 0 2 3 3 instead of 0 1 2 3 even though we didn't do any operations on it as I repeat again when you do a uh, append operation or modify a slice then the underlying slice the underlying array referenced by the slice also changes so we need to be very careful on it similarly for this new slice as well it held the reference to 2 and 3 but after the append operation the value is changed underlying value of the underlying array is changed to 3 3 now what if you print this slide new slice 2 instead of seeing 2 3 you will be seeing 3 comma 3 sorry yeah 3 comma 3 so again now like if I try to print print uh let me try to print it uh, print f I gotta copy paste it Whew. new slice two and we print the thingy me new slice two new slice two slice two new slice one yeah I made a typo over there okay so if I print the new slice 2 again after this we haven't done any operation on new slice 2 we should be seeing here instead of 2 3 we should be seeing 3 3 so new slice 2 after this we did the append operation then the value of new slice 1 became 0 2 3 and the original slice was changed to 0 2 3 as we discussed before and we check new slice 2 now the current value of new slice 2 is 3 3 so this holds to what we discussed here right then we again do the append operation but let me show you side by side if you see after the change after the change new slice 1 was had length and capacity of 4 right when we try to append append the open this this riff like when we try to append 3 3 to 0 2 3 what actually happens is now the underlying array would be 2 3 3 3 3 3 underlying array would be this but what actually happened is the capacity of this this slice is 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 it went over the capacity of this slice so in such case when the capacity of the slice goes over over the actual like current capacity um, it uh, sorry now the array points to a new location in the memory new location in the memory which is like this it could be different 0 x 3 by 2 blah 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 so it points to a new location in the memory 0 x 3 blah 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 blah, blah. yeah just remove it in, like when we appended it the capacity went over now instead of overriding this what it does is it removes the reference from here uh, I will mark it as maybe red right maybe a red. creates a reference to the different memory address and adds adds the value in of the underlying array there so which would be 0 2 3 3 3 and when when we appended to here 
the total length of the length of the slice became 5 0 to and and the underlying capacity became how much 8 which is which is shown here yeah so now this doesn't actually reference here it doesn't actually reference here and the reference is pointing to the different memory address so it's a uh, different memory address now this new slice and these other slice are not sharing the same underlying array so both of them are sharing the same underlying array so suppose if I change anything on this slice then suppose if I change the slice and updated the value here both here then this will see the change to be reflected as well but if I make any changes in here both of them would not see any changes so this is why uh, when 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 we printed the new slice we saw 0 2 3 3 3 and the original slice is 0 2 3 3 now how do we know it created a like how do we know it created new new like it, it the pointer of the slice variable is pointing to a new memory address or it it is pointing to a different underlying array uh, you can check that using using the memory address uh, let me let me point to a different memory address so uh, let me update it here so memory address percentage v and we in here we have updated in here and we want a reference to the it should be two this should be the same this should be this this should be this and this should be here yeah so we updated the code and let's try to run it Now, if we run it, uh, you can see uh, the original slice has the pointer location. Let me, okay, we'll do this diagram and this side by side. If it allows, okay, yeah. So you see original array, so our original slice and, and the new slice is pointing to the same location when when we first created it first when we created on the slice it was pointing here then then we created the new slice one and it pointed to the same memory location then we created another slice which pointed to another memory location different memory location now what we did was we appended we appended new slice one or zero one two three to the like we, we appended new slice 2 to new slice 1 and the memory location is still same which is shown in the diagram as well and you can verify from the code as well or output now original slice has the same memory address as the new slice 1 okay now we again what we what happened was when we appended we saw the value to be changed but still it is pointing to the same memory location because 
when a pen operation on this slice it changed the underlying array but it didn't change the pointer from new slice to the mem to the memory address hence we see the memory hence we see the address same even though the value has been changed now we do a pen operation again as we discussed before when the capacity goes over it it rem it creates uh, it points to a different underlying array and hence we see the starting point of this new slice one to be different to the original slice and original slice is still pointing to the same location where where it was doing before so i hope make this makes things a bit clear on how slices are appending or uh, affect the slices and 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 how he how it actually works under the hood so now this was not the topic of the session right the we know the problem like but we what we actually want is the output to behave something like this right output to behave uh new slice two so the output to be behaving something like this but it isn't so in order to do 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 this um it would it is it is good to use copy function um <coughs> So the solution to this would be to only use append when you actually want to append value to the existing slice, but not while creating a new slice and changing it. But if you want to create a new slice by reslicing the original slice, then it would we should be using copy function. Um, how we can do that is is instead of doing this, uh, we first uh, new slice we first declare declare uh, empty slice of length same as original slice now once we declare it we copy copy all the contents from original slice to the new slice and then we actually reslice the new slice instead of instead of the original one instead of the original slice we do the same for new slice 2 as well we declare a new slice of the same length we copy from the original content and then we want we actually reslice the uh, new slice 2 or, or the changed one so when we run this we should be seeing we output similar to what we expect now if you see the output matches or not uh, we got the original slice we stripped it out we stripped another slice out we appended it 0 1 2 3 then we printed the content of original slice which is not changed and we create a new slice 2 3 sorry we we again print the new slice 2 3 since there was no operation done in it it isn't changed and which holds true as the same as this one you can verify from the memory address as well and then we again reappend the output should be 02323 3, which is again true and we again see if the original slice has been changed or not which has not changed and if you can you can verify it using the address as well so this is how you actually uh, do append uh, it's uh, it's a gotcha in in go because people think slice in go is same as slices in other programming language so yeah um, i've written a bit in detail in in the blog so i'll leave the description I'll, I'll leave the link in the description of the video so yeah uh, let me know how you felt about the video and and if you have any qu questions feel free to comment in the video or, or, or reach out to me directly in LinkedIn or anywhere. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.